To date, we are here to check out J01. Love Sika. Yeah, this is just came out like a week or so ago. We're so. fucking on it. Yeah, we're, we're on the cutting edge. Yeah, yeah, we got this. We're not on the cutting edge. We know that. But, um, but the first experience with the, um, what was it, Unhappy Birthday, that was a cool like performance yeah. vibe of yeah. the video of the group and everything like that. So, boom, we're back. You know, like check out more from them, get to know them a little bit better, see what their discography sounds like. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what to expect just off of that Unhappy Birthday, you know, but. Yeah. This this should at least be interesting. Yeah, but you ready to hop in to see what we got? Yeah, let's check it out. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We already subscribed, but um, we definitely appreciate it. Yeah, We're trying to grow the channel, reach new heights. Yeah, yeah. Road okay. to fifty k. Little funky right from the get go. It does feel funky. Yeah. That sounds good though. Like it, it's weird. It goes from like James Brown to like Michael Jackson song to a new pop song within All twenty together. seconds together. Yeah, yeah. Like it's it's cool to see like like a, a, a nostalgic sound with a new take on it. Because I almost expected to freak out. Yeah. This is not the vibe of the song called Love Seeker that I thought it was going to uh, be. I thought it was going to be like uh, a, a teenage like love ballad. But well, I didn't know what to expect either because when we brought up the, the beginning and, you know, you make it big screen, the first little like thing you see is like one guy carrying drumsticks and, you know, stuff like that. So I didn't know how much actual like music playing they were going to be doing you right. know what i mean like i don't know if they normally play instruments or you me know either but i that's you know from what i saw to this definitely <laughs> i wouldn't right. have connected right yeah i like it though so <laughs> i would much rather this than you know like a love ballad right now just because oh, my yeah. current mood yeah. so yeah, yeah, not yeah. i'm against love ballads but just current mood like it's kind of in the spot <laughs> That's a nice tone right there. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, right. I that looks smooth. Let me go 
catch my true love. <laughs> let me, let me go to catch my true love. Battle him, uh, right? Uh, let me, let me go to catch my true love. Yeah. Let me go. Yeah. 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 This has a lot of energy behind it. I like it. <laughs> Out of here. Yeah, that was awesome. Eight single hitchhiker. Yeah, that was. I, I figured it's going to be good just based on our first impression of the group, yeah. but um, but yeah, the outcome of this song definitely hits my mood better than what I thought the song was going to, I don't know if that makes sense. You know, like you, you just read a title and you get something built up in your head of what it, what it's going to be. Uh, yeah. I mean, even if you try to be as open-minded as possible, like imagination still, your wanders. brain still tries to connect dots. You know? Right. Yeah. And mine didn't connect, like <laughs> connect them correctly this time. And I'm pleasantly surprised by it. So, yeah, this was fun. There's like you said, there's a lot of energy. There's a lot of stuff going on. Um, there's a lot of different tones there. Yeah, I'm. I feel like there were a lot of styles that I've heard before. Yeah. Even like, um, what's a who's who's that guy? Charles Bronson or something maybe. Anyway, a lot of stuff that I've heard before that I've liked kind of mashed into that. Oh, so, yeah. So you kind of get the best of like multiple worlds kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's it's almost like a collab that I didn't know I wanted but I needed. Right, but without it, it's like a collaboration of styles, not of artists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I can see what you mean by that. But yeah, it was it was definitely a cool mashup because, like I said at the beginning, I heard influences of like older artists too. So to bring like all different kinds of styles together. Are you thinking of Mark Bronson? Like the, yeah, maybe. Okay. That's what I'm thinking. Like and Uptown like, Funk kind of? Yeah, because yeah. like there at the, where they stopped before the near the end, it goes, boom. I was expecting, dum, 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 Fair enough, yeah. <laughs> but, you know you what I mean? Like that kick yeah, into I think that. It's, like, I think it's Mark Bronson. Yeah, um, you're, you're right. I'm, I just, that's what I was thinking of, like fair, trying to get yeah. there. But yeah, it, it was, the whole thing was like a, a pleasurable experience. Um, I really like the group. I only know the two songs by them, but so far we're two for two, so good looking out. Yeah, I mean, this style is definitely something that'll like keep bringing me back because like, yeah. it's something that it gives me that energy. So it's something that I'll want to listen to because I get the energy out of it. So. Yeah, but yeah, let us know what else we should check out, whether it be more sure. songs from this group or somebody that we haven't heard of yet. We're interested in both. But can you think of anything else before we get out of here? No, I'm glad we checked it out. Yeah. yeah, thanks for watching with us. See you next time.